In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate the creation of subtasks in JIRA during sprint planning. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, commonly, a lot of scrum teams, they will be creating the same types of subtasks over and over again, each and every sprint planning session. This could be, for example, for the product owner to review the work. It could be um, a particular development process that a team goes through. But bottom line is there's always these subtasks that may get created again and again. And you might find that it, that's time consuming, uh, it's bothersome and error prone. So what we can do is in JIRA, we can automate the creation of these regular types of subtasks. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, let's get to it. To automate the creation of subtasks in JIRA, what we're going to do is use JIRA automation. Now to use JIRA automation, just keep in mind that you do need to be an administrator. So make sure that you're logged in with a role that has the right permissions. So firstly, how do you access JIRA automation? There's a couple of ways. Firstly, if you go to the active sprints view, you'll notice that there's this little lightning icon at the top there. So you can click on that. Or alternatively, you can just go down to project settings here in the left bar and then just click on automation and you'll be able to create your automation rules from here. So to create automation rule, we simply go up to the top right corner here, click create rule. And then you'll notice that automation rule has three elements. The first element is a trigger. And this is where we define which event within JIRA do we want this rule to execute. So we define a trigger first, then we define the conditions that need to be satisfied for the rule to actually run. And then finally, we define the actions that will be performed when the, the conditions are satisfied. Okay, so let's begin by defining a trigger for when we're going to create these subtasks. The easiest trigger to use would be the issue created trigger. In other words, when an issue is created, we could have JIRA automatically create a set of subtasks. And you'll find that's what other tutorials on this topic typically suggest you to do. However, I prefer not to do it this way as you'll end up with a lot of subtasks that may never be used. For example, you'll end up with subtasks for every single product backlog item and some of those product backlog items your team may never implement. Uh, you might also find that some of the subtasks aren't relevant because they were automatically generated a long time ago. And now your team has a different set of tasks or subtasks that they need to generate um, with the way they're implementing the item now. Lastly, it also means that the subtasks will not be automatically created for those items already in the product backlog. So what I like to do is instead look for when a product backlog item is added to a sprint. How do you do that? Well, we're going to create a trigger based on a changing field. So to do this, we're going to select field value changed. Now what we're going to do is have this automation rule trigger when the sprint field changes. So this will occur when somebody adds a product backlog item to a sprint. And what we can do is we can decide whether we want it to trigger whenever the field changes or when a value is added or deleted. We're going to pick value added and you can just leave for all issue operations. Hit save. Now as a next step, we're going to add a condition. So let's imagine that I want to automatically create a subtask, which is for my product owner. So my product owner is going to review the item uh, during the sprint. And so what I wanna do is I want to create a 
a subtask for that, but only if the issue is a user story. How do I do that? Well, what we do is we select issue fields condition. So I'll select that. And the field that we're going to pick is issue type. So we select issue type. And like I said, I want it to be a story. So if it's a story, if a story is dragged into a sprint, then we're going to create a subtask for the product owner to review that story. Okay, so we put in place that condition and hit save. Now we need to add the actions that we're going to take if those conditions are satisfied. So to do that, we click on new actions. And what's the new action? We're going to create a subtask. So to do that, uh, easiest thing to do is you can, you can search for it here if you like. Otherwise, I can see it down here, create subtasks. So I select that. And now we simply just type in the subtask summary. So here I'm going to put in product owner review and click save. Okay, so here now we can see that we've set the trigger. So it's going to execute when we pull in a issue into the sprint, but it's only going to trigger for an issue which is of type story. And when a story is brought into the sprint, we are going to create that one subtask, which is for product owner review. So as a final step, we're going to give the automation rule a name. So I'll just say automatically create subtask. And then we hit turn it on. Okay, now it's time to test out our automation rule. To do this, we head back over to the product backlog view, and I'm going to use my sample data here. Just in case you haven't watched our video on it, we provide this sample data for you to download and import, so you can use it for yourself. To see where to download the data from and how to import it, I'll put a link up on the screen now, and you'll also find it in the description below. Okay, so to test this rule, what we're going to do is take one of these product backlog items and drag them into the sprint. So you can see here this one, edit profile, uh, there's no subtasks on it, but if I drag it up into the sprint now, give it a moment and then take a look at it. Okay, you could see here that the subtask has been created, product owner review. Now, you can see which automations have executed by clicking on the right here, right? You can see here rule executions. So automatically create subtask ran. Uh, if you're finding that some of your rules aren't running and you're wondering what's going on, you can also go back to the, the automation page. So let's say I go here, click on the lightning icon, and you can see that there is an audit log there. So this can be very handy. Again, if you're not sure what's going on, you thought your rule should have run, but it didn't, just go back to this audit log and it'll tell you what Jira Automation has been doing. Okay, so you could see that our rule has executed and it's worked. However, there is one problem with what we've set up here. So while it's created the subtask here, if I drag it out of the sprint and then drag it back in again, it's going to create another subtask. So if we go to it, let's open it up. There you go, right? You could see now there is two product owner review subtasks. So we don't want it to do that. Now, how do you fix it? Let me show you now. So to fix up the automation rule, we go back to Jira Automation, and I'm going to reopen the rule and edit it. So if I open it here, now what we're going to do is add in a condition 
to check whether there's already a subtask called product owner review on it. Now, how do I do that? Well, firstly, we go add component here, new condition, and I'm going to select related issues condition. So by selecting related issues condition, I can see whether a subtask has, is associated to this item. And the condition that I'm going to use is none match specified JQL. So none match this particular JQL, and I'm going to put in summary contains product owner review. So now with that, I hit save. And we also need to make sure that this condition is in the right spot. So it needs to be before the action that gets run. Okay, now I publish changes. I'm gonna go back to the product owner, product backlog view, sorry. And here I'll select this one, list car for rent. There's no subtask on it. So I drag it in. If we take a look at it, Okay, it's created the product owner review subtask. Now, if I go back, if I take this out and then drag it back in again, double check that it, the rule has worked and you can see it has not created the subtask a second time. So there you have it. That's how we automate the creation of subtasks at Sprint Planning. Now we're going to create more videos showing you other ways to leverage JIRA automation to complement your Scrum implementation. And that's gonna help you save time, but also be more consistent with your team. So if you don't wanna miss out on those future JIRA automation videos, don't forget to subscribe. Now let me give you some final tips before we wrap up. Number one, I find that using subtasks in JIRA is a great way to help your team adhere to their definition of done. So I'll create another video on the DOD showing you what it's all about and other ways to implement it in JIRA, but it's this criteria that the team needs to meet to make sure that they're being consistent with the quality of their delivery. So what you can actually do is you can create subtasks based on the DOD criteria. So what I'd suggest you do is you have a chat, a discussion with your team and say, hey, of these items on our definition of done, which ones could we potentially automate? So that's the first tip. Second tip, just because you automate the creation of these subtasks, make sure it does not replace conversation and collaboration. You still wanna bring your team together, you still want to, them to self-manage, to self-organize, and to discuss their sprint plan and make sure that it actually makes sense. So just because you're automating the creation of these tasks doesn't mean that it replaces the collaboration that the team is having. So make sure that the team still is getting together for their sprint planning session and even though some of the tasks have been automatically created, review them, make sure they actually make sense. And my final tip, just because the tasks, the subtasks have been automatically created, doesn't mean that the team can't change them. So make sure that the team is giving you feedback and letting you know whether they think the items make sense or not, and certainly continuously improve your automations to make sure that they are relevant. Okay, so before you leave, I would love to hear if you have used JIRA automation in another way with your Scrum adoption. If so, please let us know and place a comment down below. Otherwise, I'll see you at the next video.